I'm going to talk you through creating a function to allow a user to log in using a set of credentials which have already been stored in a file. Um, for the purpose of this video I'm assuming that you have already read in the file of users into a two-dimensional array. So in this example this array is called users and we have an array with subarrays for each user and each subarray contains a username at position 0 and a password at position 1. So the idea would be that in the program we can have a username which is um, Populated, the variable is populated by calling a login function which we're going to create now. So I'm going to start with def login. And at the moment I'm not having it receive any uh, data. Now what I could do is ask the user to log in here with the details or I could do it outside of the function. For this one I'm going to get them to log in here. So we'll have username equal input. password now this is going to use the array which we fetch from a previous text file um, called users so when I call the function I need to send that as a parameter with the function call so it's going to send the um, array called users so this needs to receive it. Now I could call it something else. I'm going to stick with the same name users. It makes sense to do that. What I'm then going to do is loop through this array to check to see whether the username and password match. So I can say for um, how shall we do it? I think we'll just do it. We'll try this way. So X will be the user that we're looking at. I'm going to use the variable u instead. So I'm then going to check that if username, so this is the username they've typed in, equals the username, I changed it, didn't I? Equals the username for the record that we're looking at. We're going to say username is valid. So we've got a valid username. If the username is correct, we can then check the password. So we say if password equals So this looks at the second part. So when we're comparing the username, it looks at the first part of the um, or the first element in the list, and then one will look at the second element in the list here. So actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this to there. I'm going to tidy this up in a moment. We've got too many nested ifs, so I will tidy that up. Just for the moment, I'm just showing you that if it matches the username, it will then check the password. Okay, and then outside of the loop, so once it's checked all of them, we have valid username equals false. So at the moment it's going to check through all of the users, it's checking the username, if the username matches it's going to check the password, if that matches it's setting valid username to false. If it doesn't find it, sorry it's setting it to true, if it doesn't find it I've got it setting the valid username to false. I'm going to change this a little bit. So I'm going to change it so that um, if we find it and the password is true we're going to return the username. So the username is returned to this. 
if we don't find it, if we don't go all the way through and find it, I'm going to output to the user. So username or password is incorrect. Please try again. Okay, and we don't actually need to have that. So what should happen is it will not find it and it will come back to here and it's asking us to please try again. Now at the moment once it's finished its function it will just carry on with the rest of the program and the username will not have been given a value and then when I try to use it later on my program will crash. So I need to stop that from happening. At this point I'm um, just for a simple login script I'm going to put this in a, a while true loop and indent everything there so what will happen this will keep running until the username is returned so let's see if that works I'm just going to do print username has logged in user is not defined, where have I used that? Oh. So please enter a username, let's try something that's not in there. Username or password incorrect, please try again. So this time we'll try, let's try the first one in the list. as we talk and has logged in. So we'll try another one. So we'll make, see if a different one. We'll try Rygar. Let's move that out of the way. I can't remember what the password was. And then we'll go GHI789. Okay, Rygar is logged in. Now let's try a user with someone else's password. So we'll try Dizzy, but we'll use Rygar's password so it shouldn't let me log in correct so it says username and password is incorrect please try again okay so that appears to be working um, I don't think I'll be able to crash it okay so there's nothing wrong with that okay I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit because I don't like the number of indents here so I'm just going to put here an and and I'm just going to bring this up to here so if username matches and the password matches we'll return the username and that's fine there's obviously more than one way you can do this but this is just a, a simple method for capturing a username which you can then use later in your program